Thanks, guys. A First Nation in Saskatchewan is considering legal action against a California video game company over a new video game called Civilization VI, where the gamer can play an Indigenous character during colonialism, but not just any character, Chief Poundmaker, who has been seen by many as someone who played a pivotal role in our country's history. Crystal Lavalie, our First People's Voices producer, joins me today to talk more about this. Now, Crystal, thanks for joining us today. Tell us a little bit more about Chief Poundmaker and who he was. Well, we were dialoguing a little bit before, and Chief Poundmaker was an incredible leader with an incredible heart. Mm -hmm. And so he was born in 1842, Plains Cree, and uh, he was actually known for being a peacekeeper and a defender of his people, having to navigate through a really tough time for their people. Um, you know, one of the challenges he had to navigate was the loss of their traditional food, which was the buffalo. Mm. So because that food was coming to extinction, he needed to figure out a way to keep his people fed and thriving. And um, unfortunately, eventually he was, uh, he was put on trial for treason and felony. But one of the things that I found interesting about Poundmaker is that uh, they don't know those words in Cree. There's no such word for treason and felony in the Cree. And he had signed the treaty in good faith that he would live in peace with the white man. And so, uh, you know, he wasn't in favor of colonialism, but he was, he was looking to protect his people. He was looking to cause their community to flourish. Mm. Well, to tell us a little bit more about why this story has made headlines, we're joined by Milton Tutusis, headman and counselor of the Poundmaker tribe. Thanks for joining us today, Milton. Yeah, well, yes, good morning, and thanks for having me on your program. Yeah. Milton, your voice has made quite the rumble across national headlines. Apparently, uh, it caught me a little off guard myself, but yeah, absolutely, we're, we're taking a stand. And um, one of the things we want to know is we want, to, uh, we want you to explain to us why this is such an important topic for you and your community. Well, first and foremost, uh, we believe this is a, an act of cultural appropriation, and I had to learn really quickly what that, uh, what that movement was about, and it's all online. There's a lot of information there about the, uh, the Navajo Nation uh, taking uh, urban outfitters to task uh, there's a couple cases here in Canada, like the couch and sweaters in the West Coast, Vans, T-shirts in the, on the West Coast. And even in my time, at least a decade ago, I was becoming more and, aware, more, and more aware of uh, Indigenous cultures being expropriated and exploited and uh, misrepresented. Uh, for example, the N in the NFL, we have the Washington Redskins. There's been a lot of uh, academic scholarly work uh, as, as to why that's uh, offensive and why uh, the NFL and the Washington uh, team should uh, reconsider using that name on an ongoing basis and so on. So again, it's uh, really an act of uh, cultural appropriation. We want to want to raise awareness about that. And Milton, I, I also think in watching some of the video game that it seems quite racist as well. I feel like, you know, you have Chief Poundmaker and, and he's going through this land through a time of brutality and violence of, of his people. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, we, when we first saw it, I thought it was actually kind of cool that Poundmaker, our famous chief, our iconic uh, uh, leader is, is in a game, but then when I, when I looked further into it and saw the trailer and started searching uh, online of Civilization VI and and understanding the themes, like it's it's still the, these games are, are potentially very harmful to naive gamers, particularly young people, maybe millennials. Uh, whoever plays these games, I'm not a gamer myself, but immediately I, these these thoughts came uh, across my mind uh, after some analysis, and that is. Uh, we're, we're still trying to work our way out of the tremendous, horrific, negative impacts of colonization, imperialism, these concepts of doctrine of discovery and genocide, uh, which is a very strong term that's been used, but it's been reused uh, particularly from the, the fallout of the Indian residential school experience here in Canada and indeed in the USA. So again, it's uh, very alarming that uh, our chief... Uh, First of all, we did not give consent as a Poundmaker Cree Nation government. Our elders uh, are very uh, are not not happy that uh, Chief Poundmaker is being portrayed in a way that totally contradicts the values that he represents. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Milton. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.